Is this frequency open? Is this frequency open? CQ, 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 WX0, MIK, Whiskey X-Ray 0, Mike India Kilo. CQ, 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 WX0, MIK. Hello and welcome to the next edition of the Michaels Podcast. This is the Dog Days of Podcasting edition for August 26th, 2019. Very few days left of this uh, challenge. I am WX0MIK, otherwise known as Mike Wilt. And this year we are going through uh, the am- amateur radio and how to get your technician license. So I'm going through the ARRL Hand Radio License Manual, the fourth edition that that's good through June 30th, 2022. So we are up to Chapter 8.6, Prohibited Transmissions. So one of the first questions is, what, if any, are the restrictions concerning transmission of, of language that may be considered indecent or obscene? Uh, so while there is not a quote list, it's basically anything that is um, considered obscene. So no F words, no S words, things like that. You know, th- you know things that should be um, more common or good sense, not common sense. If it was common, everyone would have it. Good sense type things like don't give false distress signals or emergency signals um, because there is a legal requirement for these authorities to respond to it. And if it's fake, it's not good. Uh, false or deceptive signals. So if you are transmitting stuff to, in with the intention of deceiving a listener, that again is prohibited. Um, any transmission without identifying call sign during the required time period, that is also a prohibited transmission. So keep it clean. If you talk, use the same language as you are with children present. And I hope you don't drop the F-bomb every other word in that particular case. But, you know... Just remember, this is for everybody, and keep it clean. Apparently, there have been some amateur radio people who, um, well, they they get together every day or every week. They've been doing it for years and years, and they like to, they swear like sa- sailors in some cases. Um, that's usually frowned upon. I don't know if it's not that's technically illegal, but it's definitely not appropriate. So then part two of this, business communications. So I'm just going to read their okay, not okay list, because I think that that will work. That kind of gives you the gist of this. So using repeaters auto patch to make or change a doctor's appointment. That is okay. I'm not sure why you'd want to do a doctor's appointment over the radio where everybody can hear you talk about your toe fungus, but you could do that. Uh, So auto patch, what that is, is basically it's a radio cocked up to a telephone. So apparently there was a guy in the local area who forgot his cell phone one day. So he uses radio to call his wife and say, by the way, forgot my cell phone. And then whatever else, so there's communication beyond that. There's value. And it's uh, another capability of amateur radio. So those type of communications are okay. Um, Advertising a radio on a swap and shop net. Usually okay, depending on um, how often you do that. Uh, Describing your business as part of a casual conversation. Again, that is allowed. So what... (laughs) I probably should have clarified a little bit. You are not allowed to do conduct regular business over the air. 
this is supposed to be a hobby. This is not a business. So um, you you can do the some of these activities as long as it's not your regular business. You cannot make money doing this. So you can't be advertising business and say, hey, yeah, I, I mow lawn. I can come over and do it for 100 bucks." No. Uh, so what is not okay? Using repeaters auto patch to call business client and change an appointment. That's not allowed. Selling household or sporting goods on a swap and shop net. You're not, this is amateur radio. If, if you can advertise your radio, you can't advertise other things. Uh, regularly selling radio equipment at a profit over the air. Again, not really allowed. That's no more in the business. Advertising your professional services over the air. So, again, don't advertise your lawn mowing service unless you say, oh, yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, you know, I have this business that mows lawn. Um, why don't you give me a call, look up so-and-so, and, -so and um, I'll answer and we can discuss more details. I think that's allowed. Another broad uh, pro prohibition is being paid for amateur radio station. So I've said this a few times. Running amateur radio is a volunteer-based system. You do not get paid for it. Now, there are other ways of, quote, accepting payments surrounding amateur radio. Um, one... One group I heard that volunteer, they got a nice steak dinner and steak and something dinner for all volunteers for that day. Oh, well, you can have a business doing some amateur radio stuff, but you can't do it on the air. So we got YouTubers. I hate the term, but it's what it is. So we have these YouTubers. They have Patreon feeds. They have they do feeds every week. They do live feeds. They make money doing amateur radio stuff, but they don't get paid doing amateur radio. I could technically pay, be paid by podcasting about that because, you know, I have a face for radio. Uh, for, yeah, I have a face for radio. So that's not something I necessarily share. But down the road, I just might do it because podcasting the video usually carries over pretty decently. Um, you are not allowed to do encrypted transmissions. Um, it is not okay at all to, for secret codes, for, um, um, oh crap. What is that, that, uh, speak called? The, I want to call it thief speak in the D&D. &D. That's not, that, not quite the word. Uh, those of you who, who play D&D, &D, you know what you're talking, what I'm talking about right now. Technically, that's not allowed. Now, if someone knows what the heck you're talking about, there's a whole different issue in that particular case. But it, generally, there is no such thing as encoding and decoding. It's got to be plain text out in the open. Uh, reducing the size of a message transmitted more efficiently is called compression. And most forms of encoding and compression are okay because they're done according to a published protocol. So if you, while well, you, I think I talked about the emailing thing a couple days ago, that's technically encoding and compressing and then sending an email. Well, that's allowed because anyone with that same technology is able to decode that same transmission. Um, same thing, most digital modes, it's an established communication protocol Anyone can decode it with that same technology. Gets a little gray area, but so far, it sounds like a lot of people do this kind of stuff. So I guess it's okay. Uh, the difference between encoding and encryption are sometimes not always clear cut. If the transmission is encoded according to obscure and little used protocol, for most hams, it might as well be encrypted. So there's a couple of the different uh, areas related to that. Um, non, non hams are often referred to ham transmissions at broadcasting. That is not accurate. And I've caught myself saying, saying that before too. Ham radio, we do not broadcast. It may be a one way transmission, um, but it's intended for reception by the general public, uh, 
Oh, uh, broadcasting consists of one-way transmissions intended for reception by the general public. Hams are not allowed to make this type of transmission except for purposes of transmitting code practice, information bulletins, and other amateurs when necessary for emergency communications. So, um, weather net control, the person running net control occasionally, quote, broadcasting or communicating out um, update, the latest updates to weather, they're not necessarily expecting a response back, but it's still within that, that range of it is permitted because someone could be, it, there's intention of someone that could, could be re, um, responding. I think that makes sense. No music. No music, period. And that's why my, this, this season I have had no music on this. Um, the only, the only exception is music can only be rebroadcast as part of an authorized rebroadcast of space station transmissions. And this is usually a rather unusual circumstance. Um, retransmitting the signals of another station is also generally prohibited except when you are relaying messages or data from another station. Uh, sometimes the stations, repeaters, auxiliary stations, space stations are allowed to automatically retransmit signals on different frequencies or channels. So that is the wrapping up of Chapter 8 in general in operating reg regulations and then 8.6 for prohibited transit transmissions. Uh, so remember, ham radio, we transmit, we do not broadcast. Even though you kind of almost could, what you know what I mean. <clears throat> so chapter nine talks about safety, and I'm going to go through some of these sections pretty quick because some of them really should be, as I as I call it, good sense. Um, and then some of it's just um, I'll try and hit the high points there, the the ones that are kind of bigger hitters. Uh, but we have what five days left of the challenge so i gotta crank through that pretty quick because there is a few different channels here and there's a couple of sections that are a little bit more important than some of the others so um we will wrap it up here for tonight um so again thank you so much for listening i am having a blast listening to all these other people even though i'm kind of behind right now um slowly catching up and, uh, yeah, I think we'll call it good for tonight. So, this has been WX0MIK, and the frequency is now clear for you to do your own transmission after your license. 73. The frequency is clear. WX0MIK. 73.